Hey YouTube, you are watching Brad's iPod Help, and today I just thought I'd talk to you about a few things. The first few things and the main focus of this video will be on iOS 4.3, the features, and when it will be possibly released. And at the very end of this video, I will be announcing who the winners are for my default case giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the video for that, and let's get started with this video. Okay, so the first thing I'll be mentioning here for the iOS 3, 4.3 rather, features are personal hotspots. Now the Verizon iPhone already has this, but it is now coming to every single other iPhone, but this does depend on whether your carrier offers you a data plan, so make sure you have a data plan if you want hotspot, personal hotspot to work. So the second feature that iOS 4.3 might offer is new multi-touch gestures. Now this was seen in the first beta of iOS 4.3 for the iPad and only for the iPad. Now what you could do with this was pinch with five fingers from an app and go back to the home screen. You could swipe up with two or three fingers to reveal the multitasking bar. Or you could swipe left or right with two or three fingers again to switch between apps. So this was removed in the second beta of iOS 4.3, so who knows, maybe Apple might be trying to perfect this for the actual release of 4.3, so stay tuned for that. And the third feature is AirPlay for third-party applications and web apps. So currently AirPlay is only supported for stock applications on your iDevice, such as YouTube or the iPod application on your iDevice, and when 4.3 comes out, uh, other applications will be able to use this and they'll be able to stream photos, videos, and music or audio from the, your, your iDevice to any other device that is supporting AirPlay. So like if you have AirPlay speakers, you could use that. Or your Apple TV from any other third-party application. And the fourth feature, or it's not really a feature, but it's more like a change, is a new FaceTime icon. It looks a little more professional than the current one, but this is only for the iPod Touch and possibly the new iPad, which is possibly to have a camera or a FaceTime camera, but that is still a speculation and a rumor, so, but it is kind of like an expected thing. But yeah, there's just a little tiny change that is going to be new in 4.3. And the fourth feature, or I believe it's the fourth, is full screen iAds. So if you haven't noticed it already, there are some test iAds already in some applications. Well now you'll be able to, ha Apple will be revealing or rolling out their full screen iAds. So this was announced when 4.0 officially came out and um, now they're just completely implementing it into all their ads and what iAds actually are is a new way of advertising for developers or any other advertising company. And the fifth feature, which is going to be receiving a warm welcome from iPad users, is the ability to change your switch above your volume rocker from either a lock rotation or a mute switch. So that is going to be really big and very warmly welcomed. And the sixth feature, or more like a change or something like that, is probably going to be one of my most favorite changes, is new camera effects. So currently with your iDevice that has a camera on it, it's just a simple camera. You can't really do anything special with it. But now there'll, ha there'll be a few features, and I'll just list them off here, like thermal camera, x-ray, kaleidoscope, and of course the normal, uh, tunnel of light, collapse, um, turbine and enlarge. So that is just a few n new ones found in the SKU or SKD rather of iOS 4.3 and this will be exact, pretty much exactly like photo booth on your Mac. And the seventh change rather is new message alert settings. Now I don't know if this is for the iPhone only but right now you'll be able to have when you receive a message or a notification you can either have it play once, twice, three times, five times, or ten times. And this is going to be happening within a two minute interval so that is something to look out for and I don't know if it's only just for the iPhone or if it'll be for every single iDevice so who knows. Number seven, I cannot keep track of these, is new a new keyboard layout or just a new keyboard sort of like a theme, I guess. I don't know. But um, now with iOS 4.3, it has been seen that there is a new like transparent layout for your keyboard. And there's going to be a picture on here so you can sort of see it. But um, it looks sort of cool, I guess. But that is just another change that has been found in 4.3. And the next change to iOS 4.3 is going to be a new look for the App Store Update Center. So you can see it on the screen now, it looks quite a bit different.
different from the current updates that you receive in your app store right now. So that's a new change that has been found. Now the last change is only for the iPad and it is a new font. Now it is called Noteworthy and it joins Helvetica and Markerfeld. So that is another cool little change to iOS 4.3. So I've just gone through a few of the new features that I'm expecting in iOS 4.3. I These are not confirmed, these are just what has been seen in the betas of iOS 4.3. Who knows, they might have a few more and they might have a few less and they probably won't even have some of the things that I talked to you about. So what I'll be talking to you about now is when iOS 4.3 is to be released. Now I have seen rumors on Redmond Pi that the Gold Masters edition of iOS 4.3 is to be released released sometime this week or the next and if you do not know what the gold masters is that is the final release beta before the actual official release to the general public so that is what gold masters is and usually when the gold masters comes out the uh, official release of iOS 4. Point th the uh, official release of the firmware is to be like a week or two after that. So that is when to be expecting it within the next month or so. So look out for that. And now on to the giveaway. So if you did not know, a while ago I received three cases for review and giveaway, courtesy of default case, the one cent case, which is actually now our five bucks. But um, I received two extras, which I was going to give away, and it, the closing their end of the giveaway was actually yesterday. I was not able to make a video on that. So any other enters that I've received uh, past yesterday, which is now today, I will not be counting. And um, anyways, I won't be counting the ones previous to the closing date. And uh, how I'm going to pick the winners is I'm going to be posting their names on Twitter. And uh, the two names will be on there. And that post should be up as this video is um, uploaded. And it will already be up there when this is when you're probably watching this. And if you have one, if you have not found the tweet, I will private message you on Twitter. And um, that is how I am going to let you know if you've won. So you're going to have to send me your address, and I'll send you the case. And that's how it's going to work. So make sure you check Twitter to see if you've won. And yeah, that's it. So I've hoped you've liked this video on iOS 4.3 and the features list and when to expect it. And I, if you like this type of video, please hit the subscribe button up top, like this video up, and comment on what you're expecting in iOS 4.3. So without any further ado, I'll let you guys go, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.